Melanie trailer and today is release day for my brand new Finvi quilt pattern. Uh, so you can now uh, purchase the paper and PDF versions in our shop, meanderandmake.com. Um, I thought I would uh, talk to you a little bit about the pattern show you some of my tester quilts so you can get um, a good look at what the quilt looks like in a whole bunch of different uh, fabrics and then talk to you about bundles and things like that. So let's start with the name. Then the name of the quilt pattern is Fenvi. Uh, it's spelt a little differently than it sounds and it is the German word for something very close to wanderlust. I've been told it's not a perfect translation uh, but when I google it, google tells me that it means wanderlust and this kind of fits in with my whole um, new fabric collection that's coming out uh, in June called Someplace Grand. So I'm kind of just continuing on that theme of traveling. Okay so back to the pattern. All right so the pattern is beginner friendly. I do think a beginner quilter could make this as their first quilt if they wanted to. The blocks are huge. <laughs> They're 24 inches. They might be the biggest block I've ever uh, made in a in a quilt pattern. So really really big blocks and it's uh, really really big pieces. Uh, I think there's one tiny part that has a small piece but the rest of it you're going to be using larger uh, pieces. So this might be a good time to get out your bigger prints. So the sizes that the pattern offers is four different sizes and it is a pillow that measures 24 inches, uh, a throw that measures 72 by 72, a twin-ish size that is uh, 72 by 96 and then the largest size uh, 96 by 96 and I think this puts this as the biggest quilt pattern uh, that I currently offer. I, I, think I, don't, I don't think I have anything as big as that uh, and I had two testers who made that size so you'll be able to see it. Um, so this is a, like I said, it's a beginner quilt, so it's a little bit um, simpler and the only skills needed is straight line sewing and snowballing. Uh, if you if you don't know how to snowball, there's a video tutorial included in the pattern um, and I will link to it below as well. But um, I walk you through how to snowball and then some troubleshoot, troubleshooting tips that I have ever so often and I have a ritual from getting these snowballs done so they come out the best. As simple as they are to do, they can actually be a little bit finicky and kind of cause you to not get precision as quickly as, you know, some of the other uh, skills in quilting, but still doable. And the tutorial is there if you need it. So there's two versions in the, in the pattern. I had a hard time deciding when I was designing this quilt which one I wanted to go with, so I decided to include them both. So it kind of made this pattern a little bit bigger uh, than what I originally had it to be, but now you get to decide which version you want to make. So there's a version one and version two. In version one, and I'm going to put up a picture of my version one uh, that I made in my Someplace Grand fabric collection, and you'll notice that I have the foreground in the back, and then the background, which is the cream, the background is part of the star. So that is what version one looks like. I found that this version was best for less busier prints, but those prints that I'm using in it are a smidgen busy. They're just really, really not quite tonal, but pretty. some of them are pretty close to tonal, and I think that what made it work. Here's version two. And I made this one in my garden therapy collection. And what you'll notice about version two is that the background and the foreground are reversed. But if you look at the center of each square, the inner stars points, those are in background, whereas in the other version, they were foreground. So there's a little bit uh, of some change up. It's a little bit more than just a, than just a reversed foreground and background but I think it adds a lot more variety to what you can do. So um, if you're looking for something to look a lot more scrappier, you'd probably want to go with version one. And if you're wanting, you know, something, you know, solid backgrounds, things like that, you might want to go with version two. I think version two looks a lot cleaner, but I think version one was a lot of fun. Um, and I don't get to use prints as in the, in the, in that part of my quilt, quilts a lot so it was really really fun to get to play with that. 
Okay, so we have uh, the Fenvy quilt pattern available in PDF and paper. Um, uh, the PDF, of course, is an immediate download, and the paper we can ship worldwide. So uh, the, pa the pattern looks like all of my pattern looks. So if you've purchased my patterns before, you know what to expect. The paper version uh, is an 8.5 by 11 inch booklet, staple bound, and it's in full color. Lots of graphics. That's true for both versions. The PDF, too. Full color, lots of graphics. Um, and there's... Um, there's links throughout the pattern if you need additional help. So it's there to help you and guide you if you need it. So we have bundles in the shop and I'm gonna show you those in a little bit. I wanted to take a look at the testers quilts with you just to show you um, how, what kind of, uh, what the quilt can look like in a whole bunch of different fabrics. Okay, so here we are, here is testers quilts and we're gonna start right at the beginning, I think. I'm probably not gonna show you all of them um, but I'm going to show you some of them. All right, so um, Ashley made uh, version two, and it's solids with, you know, solid background as well. So foreground and background is solid, and you'll notice that, you know, on version two, uh, you have the these star points right here in uh, the background fabric. So that's Ashley version two. This is Connie version two. I think version two ended up being the most popular um, amongst the quilters, I mean, amongst the testers. All right, so here's Connie's, so pretty. Um, I, I, I think, if I'm not mistaken, Connie used wovens. So that is the quilt in wovens and they're, they're really, really tonal and solid, or not, they're not quite solid, but they're tonal and, you know, very blender. So that's what it looks like in that one. Um, Jessica made version one and she made it in mostly, uh, you know, blenders and uh, basic fabrics. So, but that, that's version one and on version one, you'll see that, you know, the background is limited to just this area and those star, those star points become foreground. And then of course, everything back here, this is all back, uh, foreground. So that's Jessica's. Let's see. Here's Joyce's. I'm very impressed that they managed to get these completely finished, quilted and bound uh, before pattern release. They only had, you know, like a little over two weeks to even make the quilt. So they're very impressive. All right, Joyce made version two and she used that uh, pale blue or maybe it's aqua, uh, background fabric. And so her star points are also, you know, coming in that color. So that is just absolutely beautiful. Her quilts are always so pretty. All right, Jewel went out and did her own thing and it's so pretty. Um, I didn't get a really good close up picture. Let me see if I can make it a little bit bigger. But she went scrappy and and instead of following the cutting instructions for the pattern, uh, the pattern also includes a totals chart, right? So that if you want to go scrappy or you wanna check yourself and make sure you cut the right amount of fabric, uh, you could do it that way, just a whole different way to make the quilt. So that is there, and I'm sorry that this is a little bit blurry, but that's what it looks like in that scrappy uh, look. And I just think it is absolutely gorgeous. So she went scrappy on her foreground and on her background. I think it's, I think it's gorgeous. I think I want to make a version just like this. <laughs> All right, so that's Jules. Show you Kathleen's. Uh, I like Kathleen's because it's all in the blue and she did like an ombre where it uh, starts out light and then it goes to dark. And Kathleen did version two with a, I don't think that's quite a solid background. I think that's a blender background. Uh, but anyway, really, really pretty. And I like the ombre. Okay, Laura. Laura made the uh, 96 by 96 inch size. And she kind of did her, let me see if I can get it. She, well, this one's not zooming in. Let me see. Okay, here we go. All right, she kind of did her own thing in the background. So she has a very dark, uh, scrappy background. Um, I would say, it's hard to tell, I would say that Laura did 
uh, version two, but she made her uh, background scrappy instead of, you know, following the cutting instructions, which there's a chart in the pattern. So it's not, it wouldn't be hard for you to replicate this uh, if you wanted to. Her, um, her, so, so her star points right here in the inner part of the sawtooth star, um, they have a little scrappy look going on too. I absolutely love this quilt. It is gorgeous. All of her quilts are always beautiful. All right, let's see, let's see. Oh, let me show you Nicole's. Nicole's, Nicole went with version one and it was unique because she used, she used a lot of uh, blenders and basics or mostly just a lot of calmer fabrics, but she threw in that yellow and then it kind of gave it just this, this gorgeous pop that I, I just, I love it. And that fabric she used uh, for her background, this dark uh, gray, I think it is, it just kind of gives it some movement as well. I love, love Nicole's version. So pretty. Let me show you Piper's. I want to show you Piper's because Piper used uh, Garden Therapy, one of my collections, and uh, she made version two, but she made it with AGF Pure Gingerbread Solid, so her star points came out, you know, that too. And um, then anyway, that's Garden Therapy, different from mine, uh, so that kind of gives you a look at the same fabric collection, just, you know, some of the different prints inside it, and it it gives you a look at that darker uh, background with some of the lighter colored fabrics. I love this quilt, of course, because this is made in my fabrics, but also because she did such a beautiful job on it. I'm gonna show you Stacy's. Stacy, it made version one, and she made the 72 by 96 inch side. So it's a little bit longer than those some of those other versions. Uh, and she used, did I say she made version one? Version one, um, but I think she mixed up her, um, I think she mixed up her, uh, her background just a little bit. I don't think she used like one single background because we have this, a uh, little, this different color right there. So she kind of mixed it up a little bit. Absolutely beautiful. She's really great at putting fabrics together. Um, and this is, this is so pretty. And this is all, I think this is all AGF solids. So really, really pretty. And that shows you that uh, different side. Here is the 72 by 96 inch size again. This is version two. This is Jen's quilt, and it lets you see, let shows you what the darker, uh, the background looks like. That's not quite a solid. I think that might be, maybe a grunge or a grunge look-alike fabric. So pretty. All right, who did I miss? Oh, let me show you Sue Ann's. Sue Ann used. Gingham's. She made version one, 72 by 72 inch size, and she used a dark fabric for her background. Um, so that's what that would look like. So pretty. Oh, here's another um, 96 by 96 inch one. This is version two, and this is a lot of pretty, pretty florals, calicos. Um, yeah, really like that one. Version, uh, this is version one, and I think I think this is the 72 by 96 inch size. I can't tell because the photo's cut a little bit, but uh, really, really pretty soft pillar fabrics. And she used a tonal for the background there. Did I get Laura? Some of these pictures are a little bit small. Um, I don't know what it is. Sometimes they just come to me really, really small. And I don't think uh, any, anybody doing it, I think it's just Gmail changing the sizes of everything. You can't tell in this photo because of, uh, of the blurriness, but uh, Laura used batiks. I don't think she used a solid. I think she used a tonal, but again, I can't really, really tell. But this one's a much bolder, brighter version. Okay, Lynn used her grandmother's or her mother's fabrics. I can't remember which one. So all of these were fabrics that she already had. And that is showing you version two, 72 by 72 inch size, and it has a busier background. So you can see what that would look like um, if you if you didn't want to use solids at all. Kate's, Kate used solids. Um, that is the 72 by 96 inch size, all solids. and. Trying to figure out what her background is. I think it just might be 
a, a blender instead of a solid. So I'm not sure though. I think so. Like a, a sand color. I really like it. All right. I think maybe missed Julie. Yeah. Julie always makes pretty quilts too. I particularly love this plaid. So this is the 72 by 72 inch size and she made version two. Okay, so if you want to purchase the pattern, you just come to meanderandmake.com. Uh, it's right up here if you uh, need to spell it. I don't know what all these numbers are. Wait a minute. Let me make it where you can. meanderandmake.com. And you can come to patterns and click on the click on the arrow by patterns and then click Fernvee if you're just interested in grabbing the pattern. And we have the PDF and the paper version. Uh, this pattern is on sale until the, through the 16th. So on the 17th, the sale will end. Um, but if you come in here to the pattern and you click on the second image, it shows you, you know, how much fabric you needed. If you wanted to, you know, grab fabric while you were purchasing the pattern. So you wouldn't have to, you know, pay shipping twice. So that is there if you want to, and you can just kind of hover and it, you know, you can, it, you can get the, um, the chart to be a little bit bigger. That's actually the back of the pattern. So that's just, that's what that image is. If you are looking for kits, just come over here to the quilt kit section, hit that little down arrow and click Fenvy. And you can see all the quilts and well, all, all the products that we have, uh, for this, uh, pattern. We actually have t-shirts available <laughs> if you want a t-shirt. And here is the a new quilt label we made for it. So that is the Fenvy quilt label. All the fonts and stuff match um, the pattern. And we have a lot of kits. So we have uh, these kits, 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 kits. And then we have, if you're looking for them in my fabric collections, we've got a handful of cinnamon tea kits left. And we have uh, my Someplace Grand, which I showed you the one that I made. Um, we have this kit available. It won't arrive until June, but it'll be to you um, in time for the quilt along if you were interested in it for that. But that kit's available as a pre-order. We have a very small amount of the garden therapy kits. Um, and in these, in these kits, you can click whether you want um, version one or version two. Wait a minute. I don't, I think I got out of the Fenvy kits. Uh, so if you um, if you click one of these kit listings, it'll take you you know into the listing. But you can buy just the uh, the foreground if you wanted you know just the um, foreground fabrics. But if you want to add your background, you can click one of these listings. Give it just a second because there's a delay. But it shows you what the quilt looks like um, with Kona Ivory as your background, and then you can kind of just click through these. And see, you know what they what they all look like. Here's Kona Light Parfait. Let me show you what version two, because we've got a lot of options on version two. So there's version two in Kona Bone, and then I think we got some darker colors. Let me find them. Kona Yarrow as the background. So all of these will give you a different look, and it shows you what it looks like you know, in the quilt. So you won't have to guess if it looks good. You can tell what you like and what you don't like. And all of these listings uh, do that. So you can click in any of them and, you know, see, see what it looks like. And you're choosing version one and version or version two. So version one, it says version one, version two says version two, but it's important for you to get the one you're actually going to make because version one has a different background uh, amount than version two. So a little bit of difference. So if you're making version one, you know, buy version one, if you're making version two, buy version two. Okay. So here is the tutorial for the snowball corners. It, now it's not going to show you exactly, uh, how to make this block. It's just teaching you how to make snowball corners if you've never made them before, or if it's something that you struggle with and need some extra help or guidance. Uh, if you scroll down to the page, you just click, you know, this button and the tutorial will start up. And, um, 
you don't need any special tools or anything for this uh, pattern. But this diagonal seam tape, let's see. This diagonal seam tape, if you've never snowballed before, this stuff is like gold because, uh, you know, it just kind of helps you. You can do the same thing with basic washi tape, though, so you don't actually have to have this. And the tutorial uh, that I showed you, this tutorial actually, um, it shows you how to, how it or maybe it just discusses how to use uh, basic washi tape, too. But you don't have to have it, but I was so, I was making a block last night, and I was just so grateful for that tape uh, because I could, you know, do it a little bit more easier get it get a little bit more efficient and have to do you know less uh guesswork so that's there if you uh want it need it want it slash need it okay so if you are a brand new quilter and you are still a little nervous the quilt along will have a video tutorial for every step of the way so if you've wanted to go ahead and get the pattern or your bundle if you see one you like uh you can um join the quilt along and get those extra instructions that you might be looking for. Um, I will make an announcement before May about that and um, we'll start either mid-June or late June, somewhere right in there. I haven't uh, got a schedule in my head together yet, but it, it'll it'll be there if you want that. Um, there'll be prizes and it'll be run just like all of my quilt alongs are always run. Okay, I think that is it. Um, if you have any questions at all, I'm an email away or drop a comment below. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I cannot wait to see uh, what you do with this pattern. I'm really, really looking forward to it. Um, in a couple of days, you are going to see me with, uh, with a couple of pillows made from this pattern and I'm going to, um, do, a, to do a demo of me quilting them so you can uh, get some maybe some inspiration uh, for how you might want to quilt yours uh, when you complete it. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.